strong X1 class flare, heralded by a brilliant extreme ultraviolet flash and blasting a dazzling coronal mass ejection, left the sun early on March 5, 2012. Its cause, a large sunspot numbered AR1429. An earlier and smaller M2 class flare also produced a coronal mass ejection that's likely to cause a geomagnetic storm around Earth, even as the larger event is en route to us. Much like predicting the paths of hurricanes on Earth, forecasting the tracks of coronal mass ejections is an evolving science. NASA's Goddard Space Weather Lab created this visualization, which shows a limb of the earlier CME impacting the yellow dot representing Earth early on March 6th. But the actual blow may be as much as seven hours earlier or later. Flares of this type often cause radio frequency interference in communication satellites, global positioning systems, and radar arrays on Earth. And science probes in deep space are at risk as well. You can easily see the leading edge of the CME washing past the Spitzer Space Telescope, depicted by the pink square. Spitzer studies the universe at infrared wavelengths from a position on Earth's orbit or trailing behind us. Just one illustration of how far-reaching such solar events can be. For Space.com, I'm Dave Brody.